I'm not 100% sure how the Pistons got the bad boys name, but I believe it was uh, uh, Rick Mahorn and Bill Lambeer um, when they appeared on the cover of uh, Rolling Stone. And that's when the nation started saying, you know what, these are the bad boys. You have Mahorn and, and Lambeer looking very menacing on this uh, magazine. The meanest duo in pro basketball. Bill Lambeer and Rick Mahorn. It was a saying that we used to have called tap tap. When you say tap tap, that means no layups. Watch the drive. A horn just gives him a shove and knocks him out of the way. I don't like his bone jarring picks and menacing presence in the paint gave opponents second thoughts about taking the ball to the hole. He and Bill Lambeer were the true inspiration behind the bad boys. I bumped into them, hit them, stopped them any way I could. For Ewing. And the foul Lambeer and Ewing. Boy, I Ewing and foul hard. Rick Mahorn, Lambert, I hated both of them. And there are no touch fouls at all by these two guys. You name it, they did it. Illegal screens, holes, scratch, elbow. When Mahorn and Lambert were out there, your head was on a swivel because you didn't know where it was coming from. You knew it was coming. Wilkins picks it up on the baseline. Lambert took him down hard. No one like me. No one likes Rick. Okay. Well, then and use it to our advantage. Nice guys finish last. You know, sometimes the villain wins, and hey, it's kind of fun being a villain. Bill Lambeer and Rick Mahorn became a WWE tag team. The image of being a bad boy, we didn't take any mess. We played very hard, aggressive basketball, and that just set the tone. We, uh, Bill Lambeer and myself, we set the tone. If you're coming in the middle, this was our home. We didn't want anybody to come in here and disrupt it, so we just protected home, and I guess they labeled us the bad boys. Oh, we didn't mind the bad boys. Um, I think it was a good marketing tool created by the NBA to create some excitement. Bill, you got a guy behind you, a little bigger than what you had before. Uh, does this make you more effective because you can get periods of rest and then go back in there and go full tilt again? Not to say you weren't going full tilt before, that you can get your rest during a ball game and get back in there, do you think? Does it make you a better ball player, do you think? With Rick Horn will make me a better ball player because he'll uh, take uh, some of the help that other players have been given against me. I want to battle two or three guys for rebounds. Uh, Rick is a big guy. He'll be in there getting his fair share. and He's an outstanding defensive player, which uh, I really am not. Lane Beer said, I'd be lying if I said I didn't like to see nice things written about me. Even in high school, the other teams disliked me. It's my style of play. I'm just like the average guy on the street. I had a job to do, and I did it. I'm the person that you love to hate. And if you're speeding down the highway, right, and the speed limit says 70, you're going to do 75. We just stayed by the rules. Nobody did, we didn't kill nobody. And that's how the Pistons won. They got inside of your head. You didn't know whether it was safe to drive the lane or not. And so the Pistons in that way were able to at least get in his mind and cause him to, to think about, oh boy, where's Lambeer? You know, where's, where's, where's my horn? You know, where he could get knocked down at any time. It didn't matter if it was Michael Jordan or if it was uh, Craig Elo. I'd hit them all, it don't matter, because you're the opposition. You're not, you're not my teammate. Corzine can't get the rebound. Oakley, Lambeer, uh -oh. watch out. Yes, sir. Here's the horn yeah, into it. Yeah, well, this one right here. This has been building over an entire season with Mahorn and Oakley. Mahorn a little frustrated in the series right now because he has been... We also know that Rick Horn does not back off of anyone. Now, here we have right here, loose ball. Now, they're going to show right here that they're not going to step back. And it appears at times you do... Uh... Uh, serve the role of instigator, even in that uh, melee with the 76ers. Well, I have a job to do for a ball club. Forced the shot. The horn with a foul. Look out as it pulls Harper down. They won't like that here. No harm done, I don't believe. And now Rollins reaches in with a punch. A technical foul will be assessed to Rollins. That was stupid. And Vinny Johnson. Johnson off the screen on the pick and roll. Lane Beer trying to cover it up for a jump.
fall and we'll have one. We'll see whether Lafayette will be one of them. See, every time that the Pistons are running that baseline staggered screen for Vinny Johnson, he's getting three picks on the baseline as he comes up. Yeah, we're having a little conversation here in the arena right now. This week's issue of Rolling Stone, there's a picture of Lambeer and Mahorn, which they have bought the rights to this photo, and what are they going to do with it? They're going to make a bad boy poster. Not a bad idea, Brent. A kick out of watching Lambeer and Mahorn guarding each other. Last time down court, Lambeer gave Mahorn a forearm shiver, knocked him about two feet, and they both had big grins on their face. It's some battle between the two former teammates. Well, they, they will enjoy pounding on each other. They know that the officials will let them get away with it. Because, <laughs> as long know, as they only beat on each other. That's huh? right. Can't hit it. Coleman to Mahorn. Flies with Lambeer. And Rick Mahorn will shoot too. Look at the green. <laughs> In this case, he probably should have let him go. He was looking to take the hit. He might have thrown him off balance enough to miss the shot. He's coming in. Body first, shot second. <laughs> Ron Ron, he beer. said, you guys are having too much fun out there. You know, <laughs> this is still a game that we'd like to win. Uh, Lambeer takes the foul. Uh, he's going to leave the ball game. Randall, who really came in and played very well in that first half, is then Danny Young replaces Isaiah Thomas. Lambeer out of the game, but he gave Mahorn a little parting verbal. You're back with the Pistons. Why? I don't know. I guess I, I miss you <laughs> for, for all the harassment I would get and just want to get back and play. I, I love this place. So this, you were very comfortable here before? I was very comfortable. Friends. Didn't want to go. You know I didn't want to I go. I know, I know. <laughs> you know, that, that, that expansion. You know, when the day came and we lost a player and it was you. And that was a sad day in this town. Oh, a sad no. day on the team, for the fans. Um, how'd you feel? Nobody, uh, nobody, you had to be there. Yeah. I don't know, my mother brought me through it because uh, she said, one thing about it, one door closes, opens up another. But I didn't want to accept it because of the love that I have for my team, the love I have for the city. I felt that I put a lot, you know, poured my guts on the line. But it was business, yeah. And it, it had to be, it had to become that after a while. But still, you don't lose your friendships and all. Yeah, that. and that was a piece of everybody who went with you that day, mm -hmm. you know, from us, from all, from the fans. What we did, you know, what I did, it was still special, and it's oh. always going to be special because. We build, once you build a friendship and then you build something like a championship, nobody can break that bond. The bond is always, if I don't talk to you in 30 days is, or 30 years, it's still like yesterday. Yeah, you know, I got two front row seats over here. I'm going to harass well, your no ass problem. all year long. In fact, if I dive for a ball, you think, you think worm dive for balls, I'm going to get you. Michael Jordan or um, Dr. J jumping in the air, but I just have to do, use my tools to get the job done. And your tools are? I guess my behind. <laughs> How hard he plays. Here's Mahorn just nudges him off the court. No whistle. Illustration of Sixer Murphy. Charles Barkley's impersonation of Rick Mahorn is telling us here. Is he saying yes. that Rick carries uh, some extra luggage around? <laughs> and I know that Rick certainly uh, appreciated.